Long here and struggle with creating your vintage look to your corporate job, then you don't want to miss this video. Today I'm going to go over seven different styles that you can easily achieve and be out the door within minutes. Hi everyone, I'm Jessica Gibson with Kaleidoscopes and Polka Dots where I sell handmade vintage inspired jewelry for the girl who's in love with the past, wholeheartedly loves in the present, and embraces the future. If you love jewelry, vintage fashion, and books, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss an episode. So I worked in a corporate job for over nine years that had quite a strict dress code. This included your hair. There could only be so many colors that you could embrace. Anyway, as a retro loving girl, I experimented with a number of different hairdos and yes, of course, we all know a lot of them take a lot of time, patience, bobby pins, and hairspray. And we just don't have the time when it's really early in the morning. So through trial and error, I developed a list of a few really good standouts. So I hope you enjoy. I'm going to go from the one that's the fastest to the most time consuming. And even the most time consuming does not take very much time. I promise. <sighs> to begin, let's go through the down do's. <laughs> This is probably what we would wear when we have just washed our hair because we don't want to add too much product to our hair, right? Right. So, parts. Parts are so important. I mean, right now, I feel like uh, I am kind of like a 70s girl. Let's change this. If I had a curler, I would curl this piece right here and just leave it at that. But I'm in my kitchen, so that's not going to happen. Let's fix this look with some good old bobby pins, shall we? I think that right now, this looks good. This is just, you know, I just did my hair and I look cute. If I wanted more volume, I could easily just add a little bit more hairspray and some more curls. Now, if I want to get a little more fancy with the down do, I could just add a hair scarf. So first, you put it up in a little low ponytail. You put your headband on, and now you add some inconspicuous bobby pins because as the day it goes on, you're gonna notice that this writes down. I think that looks beautiful. I love this look. And I love the polka dot on polka dot, especially because they are different strengths of polka dot. You know, a little subtlety here and a little boldness up here. You can get some really good quality ones on Amazon. I have this one, which is probably lower quality than this one. This one's the one that I wore to work all the time because the pattern is a lot more subtle. It is still polka dot and it's actually green and white polka dots, which is so beautiful. And I got a lot of compliments on it. But headbands. Great. I mean, of course you could do something else, right? So my hair is really, really dirty. It's on, I think, third or fourth day hair. I need a lot of product, which I don't have right now. But we're going to make it work. The next option is ponytail. And of course, the ponytail in the center, the ponytail on the bottom, and the ponytail towards the bottom, towards the side. This is probably my favorite and the one that is most true to me and my personality, which is cute and practical because all the hair is pulled away from your face and there's nothing better than that when you're working. Am I right? Yes, I am. My favorite is the high ponytail and of course I don't have a brush. Did I mention that I'm in the kitchen? So what I basically did is I parted my hair off to the side and I pulled out all of what would be my bangs because I used to have very pretty bangs but I have a lot of gray hair and they're all right here. So no more bangs because when you wear bangs you have to wash those a lot and therefore all of the dye comes out really quickly. At least that's what I found with my hair. So I pulled it out and now I could work with this either by wrapping the excess around my ponytail and thereby creating a swoopy visual and I'm also hiding my hairband. Now this excess it's fine because again, it allows me to create a nice little swoopy motion and a little more. If I were in the bathroom, this would probably look a lot more. Mm. The next ponytail is, I think, especially lovely when your hair is extra voluminous. Like, you add a lot of teasing and then it just kind of pops out on its own. That's not my hair today. My hair is really 
heavy <laughs> with product. So with this one, because we don't have any extra hair to wrap around anything, we're just using a strand from the bottom portion of your ponytail and wrapping it around your base. And this is what it looks like. Now, let's do the side pony. The side pony is very similar to my high pony. However, it's a side one and it's very subtle. I find that the longer your hair and the more you put it up here, the more that it bothers me throughout the day. This is not what I'm going to do. I'm going to, again, do the side part. So what I basically did is I did my pony in a low, low, low pony. And then instead of making it very center, I pushed it out to the side and I wrapped around all this extra excess hair to the base of my pony. And that adds just a lovely little accent. Do you like it? I think it's really obvious that all of these are really simple and actually obvious. <laughs> but honestly, when I was first starting out, it took me a while to realize that the simplest hairstyles that I grew up wearing could easily accommodate what it is that I'm now as a grown-up trying to embrace. And that is a certain retro aesthetic that is very unique to me. Now, let's do the bun. Okay, with the bun, we are going back to basics. We're going back to the high pony. This is the hairstyle that I tend to gravitate towards. Not this high one, but one that I'll show you soon. When my hair is as dirty as it seems to be at the moment. Now that we have half of it done, we need to wrap this around before we do the soft bun because then it could hide it even more. Now my sock bun is a little different because it's not a sock. I will leave a link to a tutorial from somebody else's channel in my description box as well as up in a card somewhere so that if you don't want to invest in this thing or if you want to give it a try before you actually make an investment in something like this, I totally get it. But a sock could work just as well. I've seen it done. There are brilliant ladies out there who know how to do it and I think it's in the bathroom. This contraption is incredibly useful. So, because we want to tie this at the base over here instead of up here. We want it down here. So we are rolling it down. It snaps into place. This is what it looks like once it snapped. So now we just move this. look. I'm sure there are things that I should fix. If I had a back mirror, which I do in my restroom, then I would definitely accommodate that. This is so, so beautiful. And, you know, I could easily tie some ribbon or a hair scarf around it and make it even just ever so slightly more <laughs> retro. I would wear it for a weekend. Be very kind with your hair when you're on a roll of pulling it. Your hair tends to get stuck in these pieces because they're not actually like, uh, they're separate from the main source. Um, this is perfect for when you want to push in bobby pins, by the way. That's why I love this gadget. I have tried the sock bun with a sock, but I find that the sock material tends to be really hard to work with, especially with bobby pins. This also creates traction so that your hair doesn't like move everywhere and it sticks to it. It's lovely. I love it. And I recently discovered how to make my long hair appear as if though it's short. I did it not so successfully in another video, but I thought it looked good. You let me know what you think. I'll leave it linked somewhere here. Now, Let's do an easy low bun. For this one, you could easily wear this, which creates a different effect. I'll show you, I'll show you both of them. I think that the look of the bun is just as important as the look of how your hairdo frames your face, you know? So I'm using this. My hair is long enough to where it's all held together in the back. No strands, so not many. I'm sure there are some that you'll see when I'm editing. All I do is wrap my hair around this, but instead of going down, 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 I'm going up. 
up so that I, I clip it like this instead of like this. And I clip it like this relative to my pony. The majority of your hair is up here. When you do it like this, the majority of your hair to begin with is down here and then you put it up. And that is what the effect is going to be. Hey, I didn't hear that. Let's try that again. to it then to make it so that it hides a little bit more but ultimately the volume of the sides is what makes that look to me so appealing so that's the first option next we could use this spiral bobby pin which does the job of about 20 bobby pins at least that was the tagline so I have my ponytail we are rolling my hair And then we tie a knot. We grab our spiral body, and right where your knot is coming up from, right above it, you want to put your body in. And now the extra little hairs cover up most of that. Now you can also use some extra bobby pins to make it lay a little flatter so that doesn't feel so awkward. I think that looks pretty good. What do you think? Now, this final one is my favorite bun. It is romantic and just so lovely and again, so easy. It's just perfect. Initially, I just, I do this again because generally I would curl all of these beautiful strands of extra hair. Unlike my side pony, I actually do like quite a side to my side bun because, I don't know, to me, the fact that it's up makes it so that it looks less messy. And generally, I wait until after I have created my bun, which I use creating the same method that I just showed you, except off to the side. And then I pull those extra little hairs with some bobby pins and make it just pretty. And generally, have a few loose ones so that it looks extra romantic. That is it for my vintage looks. I hope you like them. I hope you find them helpful. I would love to share more of my ideas with you on my Facebook group. I invite you to join it and share some of your own creations. I can then come back and share them here on my YouTube channel because hello, sharing is caring. And of course, you will get credit. If you want to see more videos from me, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss an episode. I will talk to you very soon. Thank you. Let's explain that better.